to the session. Today, we are going to discuss some questions from the chapter Principles of Inheritance and Variations. Okay? Day before yesterday, we have done some 4 to 5 MCQs based on this topic. Today, we are continuing with the session. Okay? So, welcome to the session. Come on. Let's begin with the question. Okay? Principles of inheritance. Okay. The first question. First questions. I'm going to read the first question. The transmission of genetically based characters from parent to their offspring is called option A, genetics, option B, heredity, option C, dominance, Option D, mutation. I'm waiting for your answer. Just answer this question, okay? I'm waiting for the answer. Hurry up. Option A, genetics. Option B, heredity. Option C, dominance. Option D, mutation. Which will be the answer? The transmission of genetically based characters from parent to offspring is, is called? Yes, option B, heredity. Very good. Okay. What is genetics? It is the branch of science that deals with the study of heredity and variation. Okay, that is genetics. Okay. What is dominance? Dominance means, dominant character means the character which expressed over the other. Dominant gene means the gene that is getting expressed over the other. We have seen in the mentals monohybrid crows, right? Okay, that is dominance. Then mutation. What is mutation? It's sudden. It is the sudden and hereditable change occur. Okay, that is mutation. Okay, let us move into the next question. Okay, be active and reply answer. Okay, I am expecting your answers. Okay, question number two. In Morgan's dihybrid crows, in Morgan's dihybrid crows, the number of individuals in F2 generation is. The question is, in Morgan's dihybrid crows, the number of individuals in F2 generation is. Option A, 16. Option B, 24. Option C, 4. Option D, 8. What will be the answer? In Morgan's dihybrid crows, the number of individuals in F2 generation is, what is the answer? I am waiting for the answer. Hello. Give me the answer. I am waiting for the answer. Answer is? Answer is? Can you answer this question? In last class also, we have discussed about Morgan's dihybrid crows. Yes? What will be the answer? The answer is 8. Okay. In Morgan's dihybrid crows, the number of individuals in F2 generation is 8. Okay, in mentals dihybrid crows, the number of individuals in F2 generation, the number of individual is, in F2 generation is, what? In mentals dihybrid crows, the number of individuals in F2 generation is, can you answer that? Here the question is, in Morgan's dihybrid crows, the number of individuals in F2 generation is that we got the answer 8. Now I am asking you, in Mentel's dihybrid crows, the number of individuals in F2 generation is. 
what? It is 16. Okay. The num in mentals dihybrid crows, the number of individuals in F2 generation is 16. Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? Are you listening? Moving into the next question, that is, choose chemical mutagens from the following. We are going to choose chemical mutation mutagens from the following. Can you answer me? Which is the chemical mutagens? Option A, ionizing radiation. Option B, ethyl, methyl, sulfonate. Option C, nitrous acid. Option D, both A and C. Can you, run, can you answer for this question? Hello, my dear students. Can you please answer? Hello. Tanmaya Anub, can you answer me? Tanmaya, Alvia Anna, give me the answer. I am waiting for your answer. Choose the chemical mutagens from the following. Option A, ionizing radiation. Option B, ethyl, methyl, sulfonate. Option C, nitrous acid. Option D, both B and C. The answer is option D, both B and C. That is ethyl, methyl, sulfonate and nitrous acid. These are chemical mutagens. Okay. And what about ionizing radiation? That is physical mutagent. Okay. That is physical mutagent. Okay. Okay, are you listening? Okay, now we are moving into the next question. That is, select the correct option regarding sickle cell anemia. Select the correct option regarding sickle cell anemia. Okay, option A is HBA, HBA, homozygous affected individual. Option B, HBS, HBA, heterozygous affected individual. Option C, HBS, HBS, homozygous affected individual. Option D, HBS, HBS, homozygous normal individual. Can you answer this? Can you answer this? Did you understand the question? Should I want to repeat it again? Hello? Hello? Which will be the answer? Hurry up. I am waiting for the answer. Hello, can you answer this? Are you there? Alvi Anna? The answer is HBS, HBS, homozygous affected individual. Okay, here the gene, this is, okay. This is the normal gene for sickle cell anemia. This is the normal gene. Okay. Here, this is, this is not normal gene. Okay. If HBS A, HBS, it's there. This individual will be a carrier. This is a Carrier, okay. HBA, HBS means it is carrier individual, okay. Okay, then HBA, 
H B A. This is normal individual. Okay. This is H B S. H B S means it is homozygous affected individual. Okay. Now moving into the next question, assertion, reason. Type questions. We are going to deal with assertion, reason, type question. Okay. For question numbers, okay, 1 to 3, 1 to 2 statements are given. One labeled assertion and the other labeled reason. Select the correct answer to these questions from the codes A, B, C and D as given below. Okay. A. If both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion then we can mark the answer as option a okay if both assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion then we can mark answer option b as the answer okay now if assertion is true but reason is false, then we have to answer option C. Okay. If both assertion and reason are false, we have to answer option D. Okay. Hope you all understand this assertion reason question. We are moving into the track. Okay. That is first question. Assertion is Hybrids are generally backrosed. Yes. Okay. Hybrids are generally backrosed. Reason the reason is they have given the reason as backcross is done to increase the traits of the parents. Backrows is done to increase the traits of the parent. Okay. And can you please answer whether Assertion is true or reason is true. Both are true. Can you answer? Can you answer me? I have already given the answer, right? What will be the answer? Are you there? Hello, are you there? Answer is a option a what is option a if both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion then we can mark the answer as option a so we got the answer a that is both assertion and reason are true that means hybrids are generally backcrossed Okay, and the reason is backrows is doing to increase traits of the parent. Okay, so this is the correct explanation for the given assertion. So the answer is A. Clear? Let's see what is backrosing. Okay, it is a crossing with one of its parents to achieve offspring with a genetic identity closer to that of the parent. Okay, what is backcrossing? It is a crossing with one of its parents to achieve offspring with a genetic identity closer to that of the parent. Okay, and that is backcrossing. Okay, clear? Okay, now moving into the next question that the assertion given is the principle of segregation given by mental is the principle of purity of gametes. The principle of segregation given by mental is the principle of purity of gametes. That is the assertion. Reason is gametes are pure for a character. Gametes are pure for a character. Yes or no? Can you answer this? Can you answer? Tanmaya Anub, Amala. Can you answer this? Alvia Anna, are you there? Can you answer this?
हेलो कैन यू हियर मी हेलो कैन यू हियर मी Are you there? If you are, if you are having any doubt regarding the questions, just ask me. Okay. Can you answer this? The answer is option A. What is option A? We can choose option A if both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion here the principle of segregation given by mental is the principle of purity of gametes okay that is correct okay principle of segregation that means it is the prince it is it is on the basis of the principle of purity of gametes okay gametes are pure for a character Okay, just let's clarify the answer. One gamete receives only one factor out of a pair of traits. Okay, I repeat, one gamete receives only one factor out of a pair of traits. Okay, as a result of this, the gametes are always pure for any character. Okay, as a result. gametes are always pure for any character okay here if you are having like this this is a this is a dominant toll right okay the gametes will be like this for this plant right okay so what is happening one gamete receives only one factor out of a pair of traits as a result of this the gametes are always pure for any character that's why the reason is true and it is the correct explanation for the given assertion gametes are pure for a character okay moving into the next question a gene may have several allelomorphs reason given is wild form can mutate in more than one ways wild form can mutate in more than one ways and what about this question can you answer this can you answer this question yes i am waiting for the answer हेलो आलविया अन्ना अमला शिबु कैन यू आंसर मी आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट मींस बोथ ए एंड आर दैट इज बोथ द एसोसिएशन एंड द रीजन आर ट्रू दैट इज ए जीन मे हैव सेवरल अलीलोमोस दैट इज करेक्ट okay and the reason wild form can mutate in more than one ways that's why several allele moves are possible right so this is the correct explanation for the assertion given okay so let's clarify the answer okay according to mentel's concept of inheritance each gene had two alternative forms or allele moves okay one being dominant and other being recessive practically the wild form can mutate once again to give rise to another mutant form okay therefore a gene can have more than two allelomorphs is that clear for you hope you understand this okay i'm moving into the next question that is the assertion is karyotype study is used to detect chromosomal aberrations is that correct is that correct 
karyotype study is used to detect chromosomal aberrations, right? That option is correct only, yes? Reason they have given is karyotypes can be used to know the sex of unborn child. Is that right or wrong? Is that right or wrong? Can you please reply? Do you understand what I said? What is the question? Hello? Tanmaya? Tanmaya Anub? Amala Shibu? Can you answer this question? Hello? What will be the answer? Answer is option B. Karyotype study is used to detect chromosomal aberrations. That is correct only. Okay. Karyotypes can be used to know the sex of the unborn child. That is also correct. But this is not the correct explanation. Reason given is not the correct explanation of the assertion. Okay. That's why we have selected the option B. Hope you understand. Moving into the next question. Hello. Okay. Now, next question. Assertion is, why chromosome causes maleness? Why chromosome causes maleness? That is XY. It is present in male sex chromosome. XY, male sex chromosomes. Reason. If the number of X chromosome is more than one, femaleness dominates, dominates. If the number of X chromosome is more than one, femaleness dominates. What is its meaning? If one more than means, what is it? This is normal female, right? Okay, this is normal female. Okay, they are telling if the number of X chromosome is more than 1, then femaleness dominates. If 1 more means 2 X chromosome, that is the actual female, right? Okay, so what will be the answer? What will be the answer? Option C. What is option C? What is option C? Assertion is correct and the reason is wrong. Okay. Assertion is true and the reason is false. So, we selected the option C as the answer. Okay. Now, next question. In some drosophila, in some drosophila, bilateral gynandromorphs are found. In some drosophila, bilateral gynandromorphs are found. That is the assertion. Reason, the gynandromorphs are formed by an irregularity in mitosis at the first cleavage of the zygote. Is that correct or wrong? Can you answer me? We have already learned this chapter, right? Now, it's revision session. So, you have to answer me. Can you answer? Alvia, are you there? Hello, can you answer me? Yes, the answer is A. Okay, that is both assertion and reason are true and and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. That is in some drosophila bilateral gynandromorphs are found. That is correct. Because of what it is formed? It is found. That is the gynandromorphs are formed by an irregularity in mitosis at the first cleavage of the zygote. Okay. Okay. That is what is gynandromorph means, an organism that contain both male and female characters that are gynandromorphs. Okay, gynandro, gynandromorphs. 
Okay, is that clear for you? An organism that contains both male and female characters. Okay, now moving into the next question. Assertion is linked genes show dihybrid ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Assertion is linked genes show dihybrid ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Is that assertion is correct or wrong? Can you answer me? Yes, can you answer me? Sona Roy, Amala Shibu, Tanmaya Anub, can you answer? Hello, can you answer me? Linked gene show dihybrid ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. No, linked genes doesn't show dihybrid ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Example, Morgan's dihybrid cross in Drosophila. We have seen two crosses, cross A and cross B. Okay, and it mentioned there Morgan's dihybrid show. The ratio deviates from 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Okay, clear? So, linked genes show dihybrid ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. That statement is false. The reason given is linked gene undergo independent assortment. The linkage is more. The genes together will get transferred to next generation right so we can select the option d both assertion and reason are false okay linked genes tend to be inherited as a unit linked genes tend to be inherited as a unit such genes do not display independent assortment okay it is not showing independent assortment Okay, so linked genes tend to be inherited as a unit. Hope you understand this. Okay, that's why we got the answer D. Both assertion and reason are false. Okay, now let's move into next type of question that is case study. Okay, there is a passage. We are going to read the passage. And based on this passage, some questions will be there. We have to answer it. Okay, read the following and answer the questions from 5 to 9 given below. Okay, that is Turner syndrome is an example of monosomy. It is formed by the union of an allosome free egg and a normal X containing sperm or a normal egg and an allosome free sperm. Okay. Such individuals are sterile, females who have rudimentary ovaries, underdeveloped breasts, small uterus, short stator, webbed neck and abnormal intelligence. Okay, they may not menstruate or ovulate. This disorder can be treated by giving female sex hormone to the woman from the age of puberty to make them develop breasts and have menstruation. This makes them feel more normal. Okay, and this is the passage they have given. If you want to read, I will give you two minutes. Please read and we are going to answer the question based on this passage. Do you want to read this? Are you reading this?
can you please respond tanmaya anup amala shibu can you please respond are you reading this hello okay we are moving into the first question that is number of bar body present in a female with turner's syndrome is number of bar body present in a female with turner's syndrome is that will be zero okay bar body i i am just giving you about I, I, giving you an i am giving you an explanation about bar body okay it's a small dense densely staining structure in the cell nuclei of females okay consisting of a condensed inactive x chromosome and it is regarded as diagnostic of genetic femaleness one bar body will be present in a somatic cell okay if femaleness is not there that is turner syndrome only one x chromosome will be there so the bar bodies will be zero number of bar body present in a female with turner syndrome is number of bar body present in a female with turner syndrome is zero hope you understand the concept behind this the question okay moving into the next question that is turner syndrome is an example of can you answer this turner syndrome is an example of yes i am waiting for the answer can you answer me tanmaya amala vijin can you answer me can you answer the question the answer will be option a okay okay turner syndrome is an example of aneuploidy and aneuploidy euploidy means have or miss an extra chromosome okay aneuploidy have or have or miss an extra chromosome euploidy means it refers to change in the complete set of our chromosomes then polyploidy means it is a condition of possessing more than two complete sets of chromosomes okay now we are going into the next question turner syndrome is what is that a autosomal recessive mentalian disorder option b autosomal dominant mentalian disorder sex linked mentalian disorder option d chromosomal disorder what will be the answer can you answer this hello can you answer this question it is a chromosomal disorder okay it is a chromosomal disorder what is mentalian disorder mutation in a single gene that is mentalian disorder okay chromosomal disorder means disorder in chromosome that means one chromosome sometimes one will be absent or other, sometimes more chromosomes will be there right in turner syndrome one x chromosome will be absent right instead of xx there will be xo is that clear yes
okay next question which of the following statements regarding turner syndrome is incorrect which of the following statements regarding turner syndrome is incorrect option a it is a case of monosomy of chromosomes option b the suffering individual is a sterile female having one x chromosome missing in the cells option c the problem is due to an extra chromosome option d the individual are of short stature can you answer me can you answer this that is this problem is due to an extra chromosome that is an incorrect option okay it is a case of monosomy of chromosomes that is in turner syndrome xo xo in the sense one sex chromosome will be absent okay instead of xx there will be xo that means one of the x chromosomes will be absent the suffering individual is a sterile female having one x chromosome missing in the cells that means xo okay option d the individual are of short stature that is also correct so the incorrect option is the problem is due to extra due to an extra chromosome okay that is option c hope you all clear with this okay now we are moving into the next case study that is read the following and answer the questions okay a relevant portion of beta chain of hemoglobin of a normal human is as follows that is this is the beta chain given okay the codon for the sixth amino acid is gag codon for the sixth amino acid is gag okay the sixth codon gag mutates to gaa as a result of mutation x okay and into gug as a result of mutation y can you read this question can you read this question yes can you read this tanmaya anup amala shibu can you read this question are you there do you understand this question the codon for the sixth amino acid that is gag okay for this codon is gag okay two mutations are occurring there that is mutation x and mutation y mutation x and then mutation y in mutation 1 what is happening that sixth codon gag mutates to gaa gag mutates to g a a okay mutates to g a a okay and into g u g as a result of mutation y that is due to mutation y g a g is getting mutated to g u g okay what will be the answer this is what is happening okay this is what is there in the question can you say what is gag what is gaa and what is gug can you say this can you say this GAG is the codon for glutamic acid and during mutation X it is getting converted to GAA that is also glutamic acid that means silent mutation okay no no change in 
amino acid okay gag it is for it is for glutamic acid is getting converted to gag that is for valine okay so in mutation y there occurs the change in amino acid okay so this is what the question is telling we are going to answer this due to mutation y the shape of rbc is under oxygen tension will be what will happen what will happen it will become elongated and curved that is it is a disease condition that is sickle cell anemia okay the glutamic acid is getting converted to valine in the sixth position of beta chain beta chain of hemoglobin next question gug gug we have seen here gug gug what is gug the question is gug codes for i have already told you that is valine gug code for valine okay next question which of the following genotypes shows diseased phenotype due to mutation which of the following genotype shows diseased phenotype due to mutation can you answer this can you answer this question option a is the answer okay homozygous affected individual will having this combination of genes that is both will be hbs hbs okay